Hi everyone, my name is Sandy and I am uh, I am doing the tutorial on how you can create gigs on Fiverr. So this is your Fiverr page. If you have already signed up, then uh, this is going to be uh, where your profile picture is and when you click on that, that will bring you up settings and everything about your account. Uh, now, a Fiverr account gives you to access uh, you may become a buyer or a seller. I first used Fiverr as a buyer because I have a client who wanted me to buy some design stuffs for him. Like, uh, I purchased, like, a professional book cover in 3D. So I don't have that skill. That's why we outsource it. And then <clears throat> we bought it for like around $20 only. Now, so for you to create gigs, <coughs> you can see here your tabs. This is where your messages will go. Uh, this is a selling tab. So this is where you create gigs. Before doing that, I wanted to show you first how gigs look like on, <coughs> on, <coughs> on a search result. For example, this is under VAs. So I search virtual assistant and this, uh, these are the gigs that came up with the result, with the search, I mean. So as you can see, for example, this one, the title for this gig is I will do data entry, data mining, internet research for three, I don't know, maybe that's three hours. And that's for $25. He, she has a five star rating. Wow. And 35 reviews. I mean to say this gig already had 35 orders with five star reviews. And this one's for $30. Okay says I will do call calling for you I am expert in it so you have to think what your gig uh, title will be it should be something simple and catch simple yet catchy for uh, clients to notice your gig because Fiverr doesn't work like Upwork like that you can submit proposals and apply like online jobs at PH this one is your selling but you cannot upsell so it's just right there and it's up for the client on how to pick uh, if he will pick you so the only way to get noticed is have a title that is catchy yet simple and pictures that is also <clears throat> that will describe best your gig like this one if I am a buyer in my perspective this one is really attractive this one too very professional uh, Something, uh, something that I know they had worked hard to create uh, their um, sample pictures. Okay, so that's it. Moving forward, let's now create a gig for you. Let's say, for example, you uh, wanted a gig that offers, uh, what's the easiest one? Okay, converting a PDF file into Word into a Word document. That's really easy for for newbies, for uh, if you're just starting up with freelancing. Um, that's one of the basic skills that you should know. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and create a gig now. So you just go on your selling tab, and then there's your orders, your gigs, analytics, earnings, buyer's request, and how you can promote yourself. So let's just go on gigs. When you click on that. It will route you to this page. Okay. So I have four active gigs and I have one draft, which is the one I'm going to make for you. Just for you to see how it's being worked. Okay. So once you're here, okay, this one right here will always be available for you to create a new gig. So just click on that and it will route you to this page. Okay. So this is where you will create the title. Remember the titles that they have, like I will uh, research data and uh, data mine, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So for us, since we wanted to offer um, conversion of a PDF file to a Word document, I will say um, I will convert PDF files into Word document okay if you can see it says just perfect because it's simple and short 
and uh, the title also has 80 characters maximum uh, limit so y you might want it to use the kiss um, um, strategy like keep it short and simple okay so we now have our title okay and now we go to our categories and service type etc so for category it's already been suggested we got it here so since we're converting I'm gonna choose which one uh, describes best my gig so I'll go with yeah pro convert files now okay service type so let's see since we're going to convert we're going to convert it to um, another file because from PDF to Word is a different file Con so we just have to set this up convert from that's in PDF already but let's say for example you you want to do something else like a JPEG file and you want to convert to document so you can just choose JPEG so for now let's just choose um, PDF then convert it to a document file this is doc or docs from Microsoft Word okay so for search tags <coughs> let's say for example um, a client uh, will search like PDF the word so he, he type in here PDF the word and since you have this tags here your gig will also come up in the result okay so let's just say PDF the word let's use that there since uh, if I'm a buyer I'm gonna actually use this PDF the word um, when searching that'll be easy okay so we, we're gonna go ahead uh, hit save and continue <coughs> so excuse me okay now we are now on the pricing um, stage for Fiverr it's really different from other platforms because I think you could uh, the pricing maximum is like ten thousand dollars and the minimum is five dollars but the pricing is always divisible by five like it's five dollars or ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty and so on so let's just start with the really basic for me I'm gonna go ahead and price this gig of five dollars okay so I'm gonna use here convert PDF I'm gonna use capital letters PDF file to a word document All right, and this one is like a short description so I'm got actually gonna change this to up to three pages okay and this one <laughs> delivery delivery time uh, so you actually have to set a specific a realistic um, uh, delivery time for your deadline let's say for example for this gig it's actually kind of easy for me I, I should be able to do it in a day but I was thinking what if what if I'll get like 10 orders in a day wow 10 orders so I'm gonna give an allowance so I'm gonna choose two days make sure that you uh, let's say for example if you already have an order make sure that you always deliver this uh, your order the order on time <laughs> because if not uh, the order might be cancelled and worse, the uh, client or the buyer might give you a one star, a two star, and a negative and a negative feedback. So just make sure you're able to submit uh, the order on time. Now revisions. So say for example, uh, the client doesn't want the first um, document that you sent out. So he wanted to change. There are some changes that he wanted. So we can offer revisions. It depends to you if if you don't you don't offer any revisions at all, or you can either offer one or two revisions. So this comes in with a gig. So let's say for example, we're gonna give them up to two revisions. So at once, this two revisions is maxed out. Um, the or the order by default will be completed. So 
the buyer could no longer ask for another revision unless he purchased another gig. Yeah, like it's it's like telling them, oh, nakadalawang revision ka na, tama na, abuso ka na. <laughs> Something like that. So, the pricing, that's it. And if they also wanted to have the order delivered uh, very, uh, like, <clears throat> it, uh, they wanted to expedite the order. They wanted it on the same day. So you can actually charge them $10 more or 15 Depends. Uh, it, it totally depends to you on how you would uh, price them. So I'm just going to give that another option. Okay. So I'm going to go save and continue now. Uh, ang hina ng internet ko. Ito. So, this is description. This is where um, you wanted to elaborate what the gig really is. Um, I, I would advise, let's say for example, you wanted to offer a virtual assistance gig or anything. Um, check first the other gigs. Check them out. Read their description, uh, their details and everything. Just to give you a whole idea of what your competitors are offering. Para naman makasabay kayo. <laughs> so, I'm gonna say here, um, it's actually just a very simple gig. So, I'm just gonna write, I will convert PDF file files into Okay, so here's what I came up with for the description. So I'm just going to keep it short. <clears throat> and then for frequently asked questions, I'm not going to add anything yet. So I'm just going to hit save and continue. Okay, it must be at least 120 characters. I'm just going to use blah, 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 blah for now since this is just for tutorial purposes. Okay, and then save and continue. All right, so for requirements, this is for the buyer. Um, before they can place an order, they actually have to comply requirements if you have any requirements to ask, uh, if you have any requirements at all. So let's just say I'm gonna ask for a PDF file. Uh, please attach PDF file you want to convert. Okay, and then just add it. And then we hit save and continue. So we only have one requirement for the buyer before they can complete uh, the submission of the order request. So we're just asking them for their PDF file that needs to be converted to a Word document. Okay, so this is where your gallery is. As you can see, the other gigs has their pictures um, on it. They have their own pictures. So I've already I created one. I'm just going to go ahead and upload it here. I've already created one for this gig. Where is that? Uh, it's taking too much time. Yep, so we found our picture. I'm going to go ahead and upload it. All right, there. I'm just going to use one picture and then just hit save and continue. I'm not going to uh, save it yet because it will be published, but that's actually the last step. Once you hit save and continue, um, your, your gig will be published already unless uh, it needs something like a review while or revisions. You will also actually receive a confirmation from Fiverr if that gig actually need a revision or you know if that needs to be changed or uh, needs to be deleted or what so that's pretty much it and how you create a gig on Fiverr I hope this will be able to help you um, start with your Fiverr career thanks a lot for listening
Bye for now.